एवरी वन वेलकम बैक ऑन माई चैनल टूडे विल सी वन न्यू यूज केस फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग द ईयर ओवर ईयर ग्रोथ इन परसेंटेज फॉर द सेल्स ओके सो फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग द ईयर ओवर ईयर ग्रोथ वी रिक्वायर्ड कैलकुलेट एंड डेट एड फंक्शन इन पावर बी आर ओके सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दैट फंक्शन एंड विल सी हाउ टू क्रिएट दैट मेजर ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो दिस इज द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ कैलकुलेट एंड डेट एड फंक्शन what calculate do is so calculate evaluates an expression in modified filter context okay so we use calculate for changing the filter context okay so the, the syntax of calculate function is calculate expression filter and we can add multiple filter okay as per our requirement okay so then we uh, we have this date add function so what date add function will do is it returns a table that contains a column of dates shifted either forward or backward in time by the specified number of intervals from the dates in the current context okay so whatever context we are giving in the graph that will calculate the value as per that context okay so the syntax of this date add function is date add then we need to pass one date column from this uh, from our data then we need to give some intervals like if we are giving the interval for 3 months then we need to specify three number and then after doing this comma after comma we need to set the month argument okay if we are uh, we have to check the data for the previous 3 days then we need to give the number of intervals as 3 and comma then we need to specify the days okay so in this way we can use this date add function so we'll explain you this use case in power bi okay so let's see this so for calculating the year over year growth in percentage we need to create one measure so now here we have this calendar table and sales data table present so from this sales data we require sales column year to year growth okay so this is the calculated measure and also uh, from this calendar data we require this date for showing this in this table okay so uh, we'll see the calculation first so this is the calculation for year to year growth okay so i have created one variable name as sales equals to calculate total sales this is the total sales we have this as measure so i have created this total sales measure where i have calculated the overall sales okay sum of sales so this measure we are using in this measure also so calculate total sales comma date add so date add is the function we are using for going one year back okay so date add calendar date so this is the calendar is table name from this calendar table you are getting this date and we are setting this interval as minus 1 so we required this minus 1 as year so we need to go previous year okay so we need to check the data of previous year then we need to compare that with current year okay so that's why i am giving this minus 1 here if in this data function if we have to show the next years growth then we need to give the one only so that in that case that that will be the positive one and in this case for showing the previous year we need to specify that number in the negative okay then what uh, this variable is sales then i am returning the divide total sales minus sales so total sales that uh, measure minus this sales variable so i am doing this in this variable we are calculating the previous years total sales so we are we are doing the minus from this total sales we are separating the previous year sales and then that uh, overall value of that sales from this expression we are divided that by sales okay so in this way we can create this year to year growth measure and then we need to use that in this table for values okay so uh, for showing these numbers we need to take one table we can take any region 
but in the table we will get deep understanding okay so in this table we need to add this date and date uh, from this date column we need to take the year so this will create the hierarchy and from this hierarchy we need to get this year and then we need to take this sales and then y to y growth percentage okay so for showing this numbers in percentage we need to click over here and then we need to click on this percentage symbol so that we can have these values present in the percentage okay so from this table we are getting understanding like here we have these three years present 2020 2021 and 2022 okay so these three years cells these are the cells for these three years in 2020 we have these cells in 2021 these cells and in 2022 these cells okay so it is uh, 94960.81 in the 2020 in 2021 it is 94748.85 so it is going back like it is decreasing by 22 percent that's why it is showing in the minus in 2022 this is decreasing by 76 percentage so it will come like from this above here yeah, it is going in decreasing manner that's why it is giving us the minus value okay so it is minus 76 percentage okay so we can calculate the year to year growth in percentage in power bi so this is the very important requirement this year this requirement is like we need to calculate these cells and this uh in the real time projects also we need to use this use case in so many scenarios so do focus on this for the same use cases please do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can receive the notification of my upcoming videos and thank you for watching this video